I don't own this. Your girlfriend owns it? You borrowed it from a music No. I mean, how did I? No, I stole this guitar. Well, be sincere, why don't you? <laughs> it was in a low point in my life, and I saw that those kids weren't paying attention to it. So, it's not a bad guitar. It's a Fender. Fender makes very good product. So, how long have you had it? Seems in a good shape. About three months or so. About ninety-five percent okay. Could do a little fine retuning, but it'll do for you. I think. I have condition jazz and it's like an excuse but when I first noticed that I had it I went on internet and read about it, read about it, read about it and finally the bottom line is that it's not in your ears, it's in your brain and it's a precursor of Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's and my mother, God bless her, died of Alzheimer's. But she was 96 years old, and so she had a beautiful life. But yeah, 96. Like, but the last five, six years of her life, she didn't know who she was, and at the end, she didn't know who I was. And it was sad, very, very, very sad. And I don't want to end up like that, James. But I'm 74, so you still have your mind. I still have my mind, and I can still do my guitar. And, but I forget things, you know. But we all do. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like... We all do. Talk to my ex-wife the other day. She was taking back in for the colonoscopy because they put you under, and you cannot drive afterwards. So she was kind enough to. We've been divorced now over 20 years, but we're in a good contact. And... Yeah, I'm impressed. You're still. Oh yeah, very much so. Do you have any I mean, kids we... together? We have two children. That's why. Yeah. But my boy's 40 and the girl's 43. And she's the one who has got that. I'm uh, 40. You're 40. Well, that's okay. Same as my, my son. And, uh, it's funny how your dog took off, but he didn't, didn't involve himself or her, right? It's, it's, it's her. her yeah. She didn't involve herself in going close with the dog or trying to mess with him. She just got her distance, you know, she checked him out. And... They're friends already. Oh, okay. Good girl, she's the, so, she is the best dog around, she's the best dog even around bad dogs. And kids. So how long have you known that you had cancer? When was last, like your first diagnosis? Well James, to finish the story. Oh yeah, yeah. When I got the thing in my ears, and it wouldn't go away. And then I read about it and everything, and I said, how can I live like this? This was about maybe 10 years ago. I retired at 62, and this happened to me. I was about 65. I had a wonderful life until then, thinking I'm going to just sit here and enjoy. Oh, and this and, and twiddle your thumbs. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> and, my, and my ears, my brain, you know, said, oh, no, 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 boy, it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> and I started drinking. And instead of eating, I would drink more. And when, when I woke up from my stupor, the first thing I would do reach for a bottle. So let me ask, what did you prefer to drink? Well, in the beginning, um, from the Eastern countries, the preferred drink is vodka. Oh, vodka makes me angry and aggressive and I want yeah. to fight. And then I switched to brandy. A little sweeter, a little more taste. Mm -hmm. But James, every other day, every twice a week, I'd go to the store and get me a and, then, and chase it with coarse beer. Yeah. Yeah. 
know. And for several years, sure. I went like that. And I smoked a little bit, you know. I'm mean, retired. My kids are grown. I didn't. I was living along New Hampshire Street. Well, I started. And forgive me, my number two started to get bloody. And I have to go six, seven, eight times during the night, and with blood and blood and more blood. And I said, "There's something really wrong with me." So I went to check it out, and they said, "Yeah, you're going to have to have an operation." So, so I, uh, I want to pause you there. Yeah. I drink often. I used to drink a bottle of rum every day. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm a pirate. James, you can do it when you're young. I know, I'm not young anymore. Well, 40 so, is still youngish. Youngish, yeah. But I've been switching to beer, but I've had maybe like four or five times when I took a shit and there was blood in there. Watch out. And I was thinking it was because I cough really hard sometimes. I'll smoke weed and, and I'll go do coughing fish. I do that too. And I blew my guts out, I'm thinking. But recently, like the last week, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe like two weeks. I've been slowing down, drinking beer. My number two is good. Um, but I'm never going to go back to drinking a bottle no, of no, rum a like day. No, not like that. Not like that, James. I was, I was broken in my head. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, that's, you know, yeah. And it was fun, but the after effects aren't fun. No. So yeah, you. I, I used to drink pretty much all my life little beer. I'd watch a hockey game and drink a couple of three beers and then have a dinner. Normal family life, no problem. Yeah. And then once a month or something, we'd go with a friend of mine, good Chubby, so he's Charleston over there. Oh, is it East Tropicana, excuse me. It's a bar. And they had several televisions and my buddy Bill used to bet on games. I would bet a little bit, ten, twenty dollars, but he would bet much more than that. Yeah. We were dealers making good money, you know, so... I could see you as a dealer, like a black jack dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My game actually was roulette. Oh. Spindle. I love roulette. Yeah. Like, I won a lot of money off of roulette. For you. But I also walk away. Like, once I win, I'm done. Most... James Gambling, if I'm in 45 years, I've been in the business. Gambling is for people who have discipline. If you have discipline to say, I'm gonna lose 100 or I'm gonna lose 200, whatever the number is, do not reach into your pocket, do not go to the ATM machine, do not go to your buddy, rob, borrow a couple of hundred. Do not do sell not. your house. What? <laughs> I can't get to that point. Oh, I know. Over at, uh, no, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you, you talk. I, I have a tendency to start yapping and I'm I do too, but like, I'm enjoying the conversation. We jump in. Yeah. So uh, I'm not a gambler, but if I ever was, I would, I would put like maybe two or three hundred dollars just for gambling, just for entertainment. If I make more, cool. If I lose that two hundred dollars, you gotta get up and walk. Because gambling is like drug a lot of people. You drink one beer, you can say, well, if I drink another beer, I'm going to feel even better. Don't necessarily work that way. With hard liquor, you go 40% or higher, let's say, like brandy or vodka. Or rum. Or rum. Good you. rum. Yeah, rum. You go not eventually. You eventually pass out. Yeah. Right? Blackout. Blackout. I, so I... And then you became, become an asshole, stupid, you know. So I, I blacked out quite a bit in my yeah, life, watch out. and yeah, um, the people around me they, they say you act normal, like I've got my same demeanor, but I don't remember it. I'm like I I did I said that I didn't I yeah. don't remember right. anything. So I want to remember all of my life, yeah. but I also like if I can just do a little bit. Like even even with this, so I went from a bottle of rum to like those uh, high gravity, super potent beers, and then just a normal beer. I like wine once in a while, but it stains my teeth. Good wine. I don't. I cannot. I don't drink red wine. I drink white wine. 
and one of the reasons is that, you know, but now at this point, I don't give a shit. But, uh, but I, yeah, I drink white wine. I, if I can afford it, I drink champagne. If I can afford it. I don't think I've ever had champagne. Some people get into it, some people don't. They say, and I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, you were going to say? No, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to throw a name into conversation. Winston Churchill, you know. Yes, was. of course. They I, say that he drank I know Winston. <laughs> yes. They say that he drank a bottle of champagne every day. Oh. Before dinner. So also, he drank way more than just a bottle of champagne. I know, before dinner. And after dinner, he could really get up on that right. hard stuff. All of the founding fathers in the U.S. they drank yeah. tons of and alcohol. They made their money off of producing and selling like beer and alcohols, spirits, Washington, Adams, Madison. Many of them were into it. Yeah. I didn't know that until recently, uh, but uh, yeah. So at your age, you still have. Plenty of wonderful years ahead of you, James. You're a good-looking guy, and I'm not a hero. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm not. I'm not no, not no I, I, I know I'm good-looking. You are good-looking. I've, I've made myself that way. You should see the rest of my family. They're all fat and short and stupid. And I was like, I gotta exercise my my face muscles. Yeah, yeah. I gotta make my body look right. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. I'm also retired. I've been retired since I was 32. You were in the army, right? I'm medically retired because of my brain. But also, I fixed my brain. But now I'm I'm just retired. I have money from the government every month. But I'm not lazy. Like, if the government money shuts off and the world collapses, I'll be good. I got skills and stuff, but I'm so thankful for all of the free time that I have now. No one has as much free time as I do, unless they're retired like you are. Oh, I'm glad we're talking about both things. I have other kind of problems. I have radiation on my ear, radiation on my face. I had a thing like this right now. 33 radiation treatments. I have a little bump over here and the doctor saw me last week and the thing was off about like a penny. Black kind of looked bad. Yeah. It didn't look bad, but it looked kind of like, what, what's that? It shouldn't be there, yeah. Yeah. And then I've been watching some program and a guy said, it was on the internet and he said, block seed oil. He said, we'll help you with any kind of a cancer, including melanoma. That's what they diagnosed me as. And I started eating it. Drink, it, yeah. You take a spoonful a day, every day, with your meal, before your meal. Black seed oil. Black seed oil. So I've got a question for you, too. Uh, in your life, did you spend a whole lot of time out in the sun? Pretty much every day, for one or two hours, frisbee course. Ah, yeah, that's what I do too. Oh, you play frisbee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be very good at it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, I worship the sun a lot. I can tell. But you hold Hawaiian, right? You're, no, you're no I'm, I'm half Mexican, half German. But you spent time in Hawaii. Oh, you yeah. Yeah. yeah, like 16 years in Hawaii. Oh. That was from the army and just. People say you get island fever, but uh, I never got that. Yeah, because there's there's so, so much, much to do. Yeah, uh, I never got bored. And the I, ocean I get bored here. here. Like my van doesn't run, so I have to like walking distance. And I've seen all of Las Vegas. There's nothing new in Las Vegas that I want to see. But in Hawaii, there's always. So I love when the tourists they come and they're like. Yeah, they're yeah. blown away. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. My uh, no, 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 James. No, 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 no thanks. I, no, I'm okay. good. Uh, my my daughter and my kids went to Hawaii, 
and my, my wife said, you want to come with us? So it was, we were already kind of little, knew, we knew we were going to break up. And I said, you know what, I don't want to get into, you know, especially in front of kids, you go ahead with them. But the main reason I didn't go, because I was afraid that I'm going to like it so much that I would like to move over there, you know? <laughs> and Why don't you? I was already in my 50s then. And, you know, it's not easy to start when you're older. It's easy to start when you're young. You see no problems, you know, you adjust easier and everything, but when you get older, I love it here. I love Las Vegas. I have an also rheumatic fever. When your joints swell up, you know, my yeah. shoulders. In Las Vegas, I'm perfectly fine. Las Vegas has been growing on me. Uh, sometimes it's too hot. And actually, sometimes it's too cold. I mean, I live in my van, so I've I've frozen, I've gotten hot, but it's beautiful. And there's mountains, I can climb, and there's good people here. The first time I came here, I had such a bad attitude, and everyone I met had a bad attitude also. But that was because that's what I was attracting. Projecting. Yeah. But now, like, I have so many friends at this park. I know all of the shopkeepers around here. Um, you keep yourself in circulation. Yes. Good for you. Good for you, Dan. I'm, I'm doing my best. <laughs> well, so I stopped drinking. I stopped smoking. You ever smoked tobacco? Tobacco, yeah. yeah well, that, I did many years. Yeah. But when my wife got pregnant, she also smoked. Not very much, but maybe a pack a day. And uh, that's average. Yeah. And then when she got pregnant, she quit, and I said, "Well, I'm gonna quit too." I started jogging, and I got that endorphin high. Have you heard of that? Yeah. Oh yeah, the runners. You get the endorphin, the dopamine, the brain creates it on itself. Oh, your birdie's talking to us. Look at her. Look at her. She, she, yeah, she, she woke me up this morning. <laughs> I have to add the conversation. <laughs> yeah, look at her. She's happy. Do you want to see her? No, I'm not gonna pull her out. Isn't that beautiful day? No, no, no. Yeah, I don't want to. I want her to know that she's safe in that cage. Yeah. But I'll pull her out and you know pet her. And she's a good bird. She cannot fly yet. No. Do you think she? How big is she gonna be? Do you think when she grows? I'm not even sure what kind of breed it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be a pigeon or a robin or a black, a great hill jackal. Yeah. <laughs> I can I don't My first impression is not gonna be a pigeon. Her beak doesn't look like a pigeon's beak, but yeah. also the color the colorization the color changes as they get older sometimes. Yeah. So that doesn't mean that that's you know but my friend Hannah says that it, it might be a robin. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I'm gonna wait till he gets older. She likes to but she likes to yap it up, you know. James, I want to warn you. Have you been here last summer? So you know how hot it gets. I've been here like through six summers. Six summers? Okay. Oh, yes. So you're pretty much used to the climate because it really gets hot. I have one problem. They've been warning this government that we have there. Well, whatever. I don't want to get into politics, but. They, they don't mind. Be the, they don't mind the store as they should. As they should. But they've been threatening that there's going to be a rolling blackouts this summer, electricity shortage and so forth. And what I'm suspecting, James, and this is just old man conspiracy talking here. I am. I I'm old too. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not, James. I'm older than I used to be. Well, no. Thank you. <laughs> but what I think is that the government wants to make people get used to the fact that electricity is not the answer for us. 
And neither is gas for that matter. It's the windmill, you know. I mean, I, I, I. yeah. So I have a solar panel on my van. Okay. That's how I charge my my phone. Oh, great. Right. Like I play chess on my phone. I I listen to books on my phone. Yeah. Music. Good uh, but also, if I didn't have my phone, I would be okay. I remember a time when I didn't have a phone, and I was a, a little bit happier. <laughs> but I I connect with my friends and stuff over my my phone. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, phone can be really good, really helpful. You get all the knowledge in the world that you need. I mean, but it also is a growth, growth detriment. And when you get hooked up to some of these, you know, that they have, you know, on phone, TikTok and all that. Oh, I, my, I myself have been, I have TikTok. And with the condition that I have in my ears and I'm drinking, sometimes I get to the point where I just want to, Say fuck, fuck, fuck this shit. Well, you but, should. <laughs> well, I don't have TikTok. That's Chinese propaganda right there. <laughs> oh, we not, don't know each other well. We're not talking about politics. We don't know each other well. <laughs> but from what my algorithms give me, James, there's not a one bad word about this or that. They show some pictures of movies from China, short movies between these one and these five minutes. But you can just skip it, you can just go. But some of the other things that they show you, like animals that are, that I would never see in my life on my own. Yeah. Because people from all over the world submit their, you know, and then they show it on TikTok and it's my heart. And then, then the things they show about human body and about the cosmos, how it's all put together or how much we don't know that we think we know it's pretty big up there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I and mean, yeah. it's more and more and more i mean so i i think my problem with tiktok is I, i'm sure they're not targeting you but like when tiktok in america with the children yeah they're showing them just dumb stuff yeah but tiktok in china is educational, educational stuff they got out all that yeah they're, okay. they're trying to make all of our kids stupider and all of their kids. Yeah. That's why I say they can be detrimental to having that fun. Because you see kids 12 years old, you know, they don't talk to each other. Well, I don't know who the fuck they talk to, but they talk to the fucking cops or something. They you said a bad word. <laughs> you can't take it. No, so... I hate to do it, especially in front of my kids, but uh, I was the dealer. And you never, never swear on the day. Never. You never talk about politics and you talk about religion. I never. can see that. Because it's not just about putting the cards no, down. It's, it's about being social. friendly and socializing. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So that's what I do with chess as well. Sometimes, most of the time, I lose. But it's about connecting with the person. Yeah. Yeah. Bonding. Yeah. 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 Good for you. Good for you. Very good for you. You need to have something that keeps you, your mind occupied and keeps you interested in life, I think. Because you end up... Oh, shit, I've already...